friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a 2016 best and worst of BoxyCharm. I'm going to be going through some of my favorite things that I got in BoxyCharms in 2016 and also the worst for me personally. I totally understand if some of the things that I say were my personal worst are your favorites. I get it. Everybody has different skin tones, different styles, the whole nine yards, but these are what worked great for me and what just were complete misses for me. Okay, let's just jump right in. Some of these you may have seen in my 2016 December favorites, so I'm just going to kind of breeze through some of those if they're in here. One of the first things that I really loved was the brush and bronzer mini palette from Coastal Scents. This is something that I used a lot. I got this earlier in the year and I really gravitated towards this. As you can tell, I've already hit the pan on one of the bronzers. I love this. I think it's great. It's blendable. This is definitely one of my 2016 favorite hits wins. I also briefly touched on these in one of my last videos. It is the Studio Makeup On The Go eyeshadow palettes. One of them is the cool down and one of them is the warm up. These were big wins for me in 2016. Yes, I know that there was some complaints about fallout and a few things like that. I did use either a setting spray or some water with them to make the pigments kind of pop a little bit, but these were some of my favorites. We got this one over the summer and this one in November, and they were just really great and blendable products that I kept reaching for. I've even hit the pan on a few of them. So these were huge wins for me. I'm gonna brush right through those because I already kind of chatted about those. One of my other absolute favorites was the Ella Mila Bon Bon Nail Polish in Mint. I loved this so much for kind of a personal reason. The colors of my wedding were mint and coral, and how perfect was it that I got the, the mint shade pistache? Is that how you say that? This color was so perfect for me for my wedding. I went to do my mani petties with my girlfriends for my wedding with it. I just did petties with these French for my nails. Um, I was even wearing this color through my honeymoon for weeks and weeks after. This was a huge win for me. I love the color for spring and summer, but it also has a personal sentimental value to me because I wore it to my wedding. So big win, big win. Kind of jumping into a product I did not love. And again, if you loved it, that's awesome. Maybe you can give me some tips in the comments as to why you loved it. Maybe you used it differently than I did. Is the Beauty For Real Blush and Glow. I was so excited to get this too, so that's why it's such a bummer that this didn't work for me. The colors are Coral Crush and High Beam. So Coral Crush is supposed to be like the, the, the blush-like color, and for me this just never properly blended. It didn't ever sit well on my skin. You could definitely see it like 1980s rouge, and it just it wasn't great for me. But I was even more disappointed in the glow side. I was so excited for this, for at least the glow. And it just doesn't, it doesn't blend on me. Maybe it's my skin tone. I do have, um, I tend to have oilier skin. So maybe that's why it looks so patchy and just didn't, it didn't sit well. So this was, I was totally disappointed in this. I tried using, um, brushes. I tried using sponges with this. So if you guys have any tips for how to make this work, let me know in the comments below. But I could not get this to work for the life of me, so this is a big wah, wah, wah for me. Another product that I kept trying over and over and over again, and I still couldn't, I couldn't love it as much as I wanted to, was the Noya Lip Color. I loved the packaging. I thought this was so cute because it has like this gorgeous like wood top on it with a little design and it's just so pretty. It's so pretty and I, I liked the pigment color. I did. It's just this ends up so patchy on me. I find myself when I do have it and I have to, kept it in my handbag for weeks and weeks trying to make this work and it kept getting patchy on me. I had to keep reapplying it. I don't know. See it's even just got when you put it on your hand when you swatch it it's just you, it's got very thin pigmentation to it, so you like have to layer it a few different times. For me personally, it just it doesn't work. It it gets really patchy. It gets it's very light pigmentation, and you just after a couple of sips of your water, it's done for. So definitely not a win for me in 2016. All right, another thing that was not a win for me, and I think it's because 
this kind of product is so personal. It's such an intimate item that I just, I don't like getting them so much in boxy charms. And that's the Style de Paris perfume. And it was a Catherine Malandrino perfume. I mean, we got two of these. And when I got the second one, I was like, oh man, another one. But this one, I actually like the scent of. This one is the Romance de Provence. Romance de Provence. I liked the blue one a bit more. I would occasionally use this when I didn't want to use my good stuff. But I really just, this smell to me, I just, I'm sorry, BoxyCharm. I think of grandma. I think of an old lady. I think the, the smells in it, they're just, it's just, it scent is such a personal thing. It's so, it just kind of identifies you into who you are, into, I don't know. Like when you walk in a room, people feel like they get to know you a little bit by what you smell like sometimes. And this is not how I want to be known. If I'm going to be honest with you. No. Ooh, a product that I really loved was the Pure Lip Lure, the Hydrating Lip Lacquer. Um, you'll see this. I did talk about this in my Embarrassing What's in My Bag video. Um, I do dislike that when you open it, it looks, it, it looks a wreck because it's like already coming out of the tube. It's already got just opening it, even if you haven't twisted anything. So that makes it a bit difficult when you're keeping it in your handbag, and that's where I love to keep this. But I really like how this goes on. I like how it feels. I love the pigment of it. I love the lasting power of this. So this is a huge win for me from BoxyCharm, but it does get dirty, as you guys can see, like right on the applicator because it keeps spewing out. Even despite all of that and the messiness of it, this is still a big, big win for me for 2016 because I use it over and over and over and over again. Yes, okay. Ooh, another win for me this year was the Pharmacy Hydrating Brightening um, Coconut Mask, Coconut Gel Mask. I tried this this winter because that's when my skin really starts to either get drying or it starts to really start breaking out in certain spots. So I tried this and I felt like my skin was so smooth afterwards and it just felt like a baby's butt. It was just so hydrating and nice. I'm gonna have to, I, it's not broken me out yet, so I'm really hopeful that it's not going to, but this is definitely a win for me. Um, I love the feel, I love the scent of it, and you do look a little creepy when you wear a face mask, but you know how that goes, you know. Um, oof, all right. I don't know why this product made me look like a drag queen so much, but I looked like a huge drag queen. And I love me some drag queens. I think they are amazing, but I was doing you a disservice. I did them a, a, an injustice with this product. I don't know why I can't make this product work, but it's the Temp 2 like bronzer. It's a shimmer bronzer. And I don't know what it is with this. And maybe it's just, again, maybe it's the end user. Maybe it's me. It's not me. It's you. It's you. It's me. I could not get this to work for the life of me. I tried it several times. I tried it with sponges. I tried it with wet sponges. I tried it with brushes. I've tried it with my fingers. I've tried unicorns. You name it. I've tried it. I cannot get this to blend well. I don't know what it is about this product that it just, ooh, well, it's very like, Milky, it just starts to drip down your hand. I don't understand this, but it's like, I, I don't know. Maybe I'm just applying it wrong on my, cause I just use it for like contouring, you know, contouring. But for me, I don't know if it's just the, I don't know if it's the formula, if it's just the absolute runniness of this product. I don't know, but it, it doesn't work for me. It doesn't work for me. And no matter how many times I'll reach for something and try things over and over again, but then after a while, you just stop giving a damn. You can't give that many dams to a product that you can't make work. So this was a huge, like this was probably my biggest fail of 2016 with BoxyCharm. Um, looking through this, I would say that this is probably my biggest fail because I kept trying over and over again and I wanted this to work. I just, no. Okay, um, okay, so love and hate on this next product, love and hate. So this is the Anderson Lily Manhattan Beach Beach Butter Hand Cream. We got this over the summer and I loved it. I liked the smell of it. It wasn't like too strong or anything, but what I hated, absolutely 
hated was something that I saw on all social media platforms that many of you hate too, is that stupid black crepe paper that they put inside the boxes and make our products look so dirty. I hate it. Because if you look at this, it looks completely filthy. It looks like I threw it on the ground in the dirt, stepped on it, rolled on it, and then dug it down seven feet deep. I don't know. It's just awful. So, I mean, it makes, it makes me not want to put it in my handbag because I'm afraid it's going to just like deposit all of that into my handbag. But I really like the consistency of this. I like the creaminess of it. So this is a huge win for me product wise, but BoxyCharm, get serious with that crepe paper. Hate it, hate it, hate it. I mean it. Okay. Um, some products that I really, really loved. I loved getting a trio of Luxie brushes that we got and then the and the small contouring brush as well. I loved getting these. I had never tried Luxie brushes before. I really, really like them now, and I could definitely say I would spend my own money on them, but it really helps when you get them in a boxy charm because then you don't have to. But I loved all of these, so huge win for me. Another product that I really loved and I did touch on in my December favorites that I started using more frequently was Ofra Press Powder Oil Control. Loved this, I use this a lot. I do, like I said, have oily skin and depending on what kind of foundation I'm using will depend on if I need to pull this little bad boy out or not, but I love having the option too so I can kind of check out different products as far as my skin goes. Love, love, love. Just a few more products here. This looks so dirty and I promise you I have washed this. I'm almost embarrassed to show it to you, but it's stained, but who am I trying to embarrass? You guys know how makeup works. You know it gets a little dirty. We just got in the December box this makeup eraser. And yes, it looks dirty. I have washed it, but you know how black mascara and eyeliner loves to just stain shit. But I love this. I know I got a lot of hate on their Instagram saying, oh, it's a washcloth, thanks. But it's really so much more than a washcloth. I can just get this wet and then use it to wash off all of my makeup, my eye makeup and everything, and it gets it off. I mean, it stays on the rag, but it gets it off your face, so that's a good thing. But I really like this more than I thought I would. I was also kind of disappointed to get this in the box. I was at first excited, and then I saw the other options that I could have gotten in the box, so I was a little like, wah, 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 wah. But this has been amazing to use. It's been super handy, and I would even probably rebuy this once this decides to just become an all black rag. But I swear I've cleaned it. But again, you know how makeup works. I'm not trying to impress anybody. Oh, this one was the Black Lash Primer Jet Black Volume, the Blink product. I tried this, and I tried this, and I tried it again. I don't know what it is. It makes my eyelashes just get very spidery. It doesn't seem to give the volume that it promises. Again, it could be the end user, it could totally be me, but for some reason I just didn't love this. If you have any tips on how to make this work better, let me know. I did try to use it with the Blink mascara to go with it, but it just isn't working as well for me as some of my other mascaras. So not, not in love, not in love. Wouldn't ask it to be my prom date product that I have here and it happened to be because it was in a great shade for me and my skin tone and my style is the Pure Minerals Double Ego Double Ended Eyeliner and I got the shade I don't think it says I don't think it says the shade on here but I got the the green style where on one end of this it's felt pen style and then the other side is more the crayon style and I even, I don't generally like the crayon styles as much as I generally tend to gravitate to the, you know, like the more inky pen side. But I love both sides of this. I can use it on the same look, on different looks. This was a huge win for me because when, I just like to experiment with looks and this looks great with brown eyes, brown hair, the whole nine yards. So this works really well for me. This was a huge win. It has great lasting power. It doesn't really smudge too much. So I loved it. A product that I was not super duper in love with, I only honestly tried it like once, maybe twice. It's the Hakari eyeliner that we got recently. And it's got like this, I would probably equate the formula to similar to a crayon. Like when you put it like on your eyes and you get down here into like the corner of your eye, I could just, it smudges so much. It's not a clean line. I like a clean look. I don't. This was not my favorite. I just don't like this formula. I like the somewhat creaminess, but 
Like it's so pale, you kind of have to go over it and over it and then over it again. Ugh. Maybe it would be good for like under the eye or something, but and even then it's going to make me look like I'm a crying mess. Yeah, I don't, I don't need that. So not a win for me. Not a win. Again, if you loved any of these products that I'm hating on or saying that don't work well for me, totally understand some things work better for other people than they do for different skin types, different styles, everything. So this was my 2016 best and worst of BoxyCharm. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Bye, friends.